Today we're going to learn how to create meals around five flavor characteristics. Corinne Trang is the author of eight cookbooks, including Asian Flavors Diabetes Cookbook, which just won the Nautilus Book Award, and Essential Asian Condiments. She joins me back here in the kitchen. Well, that's quite an honor. Congratulations. Thank you. How fun. All right, so we're going to learn about different characteristics of food today. Yes, we're learning about the five flavors, basically sweet, sour, salty, spicy, and bitter. Okay. And as you develop your palate, which means you have to slow down when you're at the table, even when you're cooking, not just like throw everything in the pot mm -hmm. or not you know, when you're sitting down at the table, not just shove everything in your mouth, but really consider what's in the food. You know, the flavors are there. Develop the palate, of, you know, slowly savoring each bite. Mm -hmm. So and that's what's the benefit of doing that. You eat less. Okay. <laughs> and so you, you know, you maintain a healthy weight. When you're eating without thinking, yeah. you tend to put it on and put it on and put it on. If you start slowing down the process and really developing that palate, looking at the sweet note, the salty, the you know, the spicy, and you're the able bitterness, to do that, that with the majority oh, yeah. of the things you eat. You could. Yes, I do. Well, you I are do the it pro, because I. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> but I also like to take my time and eat. You know, it's like I'm half French, so you know, with my grandmother, we sat at the table for three hours. You did. You know, <laughs> and it was great because you would really just take one bite at a time. You would discuss whatever it is you were discussing at mm -hmm. the moment, and you'd keep eating. But it was a very slow process. You know. Um, and then, you know, people tend to eat too quickly. They eat at their desks. I know they do. You all do. Of course. <laughs> of course you do. You know, so we're trying to really just get away from that, from eating at the desk and really just taking a moment, a half hour, an hour, mm -hmm. to really eat your lunch, you know, properly. Take or the even time. Dinner, take the time. It, sure. That's it. So here, right. we're making a, actually a bistro classic, but with an Asian twist. Okay. So I decided to, because it's been so hot, Right? So I've decided to do a salad niçoise. Oh, I like okay. the sound of that. Isn't it <laughs> nice? Yes. Okay, so it's a bistro classic because it's usually just lettuce and vegetables, green beans, mm -hmm. a few potatoes, and generally it has some eggs, but we're going to do, and, and some tuna, mm -hmm. but we're going to put on some tofu. So okay, we're switching so what out the I've protein done, a little bit, We're switching bit, right? out the protein, making it even lighter. We've been hitting 100 degrees around here, so I'm thinking cooking. light, right. right? So here I've pan fried some tofu and it's I just take firm tofu I put it in you know in, in a, in a non-stick pan with some grapeseed oil mm -hmm. and that's it really so you've got your protein if you wanted to do shrimp you could do that you know I mean everybody's grilling nowadays so you could do grilled shrimp grilled chicken whatever it is it doesn't really matter here I've done tofu so traditionally in a uh, salad niçoise we have olives so I've also marinated the olives with some chilies oh. and lemon just for fun and it gives it a little bit I know I have fun just for fun you know and I've added a little bit of chili just to hit some heat but not too much we're gonna make the dressing so here you okay. have rice vinegar and shiro miso which is a white miso paste it's a soybean paste should I mix this mix it all up okay and I'm going to slice this ginger and that's going to be a slight you know the slight bitterness and heat that we put in the sauce so when heat you doesn't have to be hot like chilies. Okay. It could also be, you know, a mild heat like ginger. So our goal when we eat this salad is to do, so, do it slowly, mm -hmm. take in the different flavors. Exactly. Okay. Take in the different flavors. That's exactly it. <laughs> really connect the senses. Really, you know, use your senses to connect to each and every ingredient. I'm just going to throw this in. Sure, I'll mix it up. And to that, you're going to add a little bit of, I've, add, um, I've got, yeah, some olive oil. Okay. And also some sesame oil, dark sesame oil. And just you a touch. To just, yeah, you can do little? it. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Oh, put a little more. A little more, more than okay, that, yeah. all right. That's it. That's good. And then now just a touch of sesame oil okay. because that's going to add a lot of flavor. Just a little bit will go a long way. You could go a little more. There you go. Playing that's it. safe here. Yeah, I know. Oh, it smells great. All right. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of scallions. Again, just a mild heat. So we've got you know, the ginger, the scallion, and the idea is to be able to taste each and every ingredient, each flavor note, sweet, sour, salty, spicy, bitter, separately on the mm -hmm. palate, and then let it all come together. That's going to take some practice, bite. I feel like. It is, but it's fun. See, the whole point <laughs> is, is to have fun. fun. So you just, you know, add a glass of wine to your meal and um, try it out, huh? Try it out. Enjoy the moment. Are you uh, in the process of writing any more cookbooks? I am. So I'm actually busy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be doing another book with the American Diabetes Association, which oh. I'm really happy about. And I'm also working on another book uh, on the yoga foods. So. How was uh, your retreat? Last time you were here, you were telling us about it. 
That's right, yes, I was at Lake Austin Spa Resort and we had a wonderful four day retreat and it was wonderful. We had food meditations. I also conducted food meditation. Food oh. meditation. How so talk about really engaging the senses, really slowing down the process, uh -huh. really tasting and trying to figure out, you know, what's going on when you mm -hmm. put all the ingredients together and when you, you know, just really have them separately on the palate. And so it, it's really interesting. Also, it allows you not to just throw things together when you're cooking, sure, but, but to really think about, you know, color, texture, mm -hmm. and flavors. Looks just great. Just like that. And now we're going to pour this, this on top. It? Go ahead. Does it go on the tofu too? Yep. Everywhere. Oh, okay. Well, this is very healthy and it was easy to make. There you go. All right, very good. Well, we're gonna dig in uh, at the end of the show. Corinne, thank you so much. Thank I'm you. I'm gonna try it. Great. Right, instead of shoving food in my mouth? That's right, slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up next, Robert Steele talks about his latest novel, The Curse, Big Time Gambling, Seduction of a Small New England Town. And Style Returns, we'll be right back.